Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. Hope everyone's having a great day. Thank you so much for watching this on replay. I really appreciate you clicking on this video. I'm Allison with Upright and Caffeinated, and if you're watching this live, make sure you should say hi and comment so that I know my comments are working and so I know that you're watching. This morning, we're gonna do gift tags, and um, I made those s'mores buckets yesterday, and they were so cute. Oh my gosh, they turned out so cute. So if you didn't see that video, make sure you watch it from yesterday. So cute. Um, but before my husband delivered them, I thought, oh, let me put a little gift tag on it. And then I realized, I don't know if I've shown you guys how to use these gift tag transfers. So we're gonna use this this morning. So these are our little wooden gift tags and they come in a six pack. Good morning, mom. Good morning. <laughs> um, so these gift tags, they're little wooden, white painted um, gift tags. And they come in a six pack and you can use them for all different things. I used them on this little house. Let me get up and show you guys this little house. This is so stinking cute. This is so cute. Look at that. I put the gift tags on the house, put a little, you know, fake moss up there and made a little bird house. How adorable is that? So that's one way you could use them. But I want to show you, they come with, oh, well, you can buy the gift tag transfer too that, with the gift tags. And this comes with a couple different patterns comes with some words, comes with some little flourishes, and then it comes with this little circle. Good morning, Nancy. And then it comes with this um, wreath. So I want to show you, I want to show you how you use the pattern and how you use the circle and the words. So that's what we're going to work on this morning. So the thing is, is you can use any pattern on these gift tags. So these are cut perfectly for these gift tags. That's what they're made for, okay? So those fit perfectly on there. You can use those patterns. I'm gonna show you just a sheet of, of a pattern transfer. So this is the herringbone transfer. Um, you know what you could also use is the house transfers. So like this pattern, I love, 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 love. This is one of the house transfers. Well, guess what? That tag's gonna fit perfectly on that little house transfer. So you can use the house transfer. You can use the Christmas tree transfers. You can use the pumpkin transfers. So any pattern that Chalk Couture makes, you can use on these little gift tags because they're just so small. Good morning, Sharon. The, the tags themselves are so small that um, any of the patterns that Chalk Couture makes, you can use on the gift tags. But we're gonna do the herringbone this morning. I'm gonna use my two favorite colors, Couture Teal and Raspberry Sorbet. And then I'm gonna show you how to use this little circle and we're gonna add a word too. And I just realized I need my white paste. Okay, so let's let's just get started. So let's start with this herringbone pattern. That's the first thing we're gonna do is pattern, pattern this gift tag. All right. So we're just gonna fuzz this and put this on. So I hope everybody is having a wonderful week so far. We had a crazy busy day yesterday. Every, every day is crazy busy. <laughs> Who am I kidding myself? Every day is crazy. But yesterday was extra busy. So, okay. So now I'm just gonna lay this herringbone pattern right on. Let's see here. Perfect. That looks absolutely perfect. Okay. So I just laid that pattern right on. Easy, easy, easy. And then we're gonna use a little couture teal. I'm gonna add a little water to this guy. We're gonna stir this up. All right. I feel like I haven't used my couture teal in a while. I don't know why it's my favorite color to use and especially now getting into like the summer months I think it's perfect for a lot of different summer projects we'll have to do it more often because <laughs> this guy was a little dried out <laughs> all right now it's looking much better all right so we're gonna use the couture teal right on this herringbone pattern on the gift tag 
easy peasy. Here we go. And when I'm working with these patterns on any kind of cutout, so any cutout that Chuck Couture makes, these wooden cutouts, I like to start from the middle and move out. It's different from a chalkboard because the entire surface is being covered with paste. So it's, it's, it's not, to me, it's just not quite as stable. That's the word I'm looking for. It's not as stable as working with the chalkboard. But if you start in the middle, you can kind of hold the top or hold the bottom. If you start in the middle and work your way out, that seems to work the best for any of the cutouts. So whether it's a pumpkin or a Christmas tree, gift tag or a house, that works really well like that. Okay. So now I'm gonna lift this off and I'm just gonna try to hold it from the bottom without getting my hands on any of that chalk. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Oh, that pattern is one of my very, very favorites. Let me rinse my hands off and then I'll hold this up so you guys can see. Oh, and I've got chalk all over my fingers. Okay, look at how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. I love it. Oh, Sharon, you're so welcome. I feel badly that I haven't been live very much, but yeah, it's been, it's been um, tough, especially because my kids aren't sleeping well. And um, my best friend, who is an expert in, well, she's an expert in a lot of things, but she's an expert in disasters. She actually, actually works for FEMA. <laughs> and she was saying that one of, one of the things that happens when there's a natural disaster or something like this is kids sleep is disrupted and I'm like oh yeah I could tell my kids aren't sleeping through the night <laughs> so <laughs> we're dealing with it though <laughs> we're trying different things to get them to sleep better but we, we end up with a kid in the bed just about every night <laughs> okay so now I'm stirring up my white and I'm going to show you why I'm going to show you why I need to dry this off this needs to be completely dry before I try with the circle so let me just hit this with the hair dryer really quickly Ooh. and then we're going to we're going to add the circle okay Should be, yeah, that looks good. The, what's funny is the chalk paste that went over the edges, that's what's wet. <laughs> Not the top part, the top part's dry. But the edges are still a little wet. Not the end of the world. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my, my little circle mask, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna stick this right in the center or wherever you want it. Actually, should I do it in the center or should I do it up high? Uh, I think the center, where I was thinking, okay. So I'm gonna put this, this circle mask down. Now I'm gonna go over what I just chalked with white, okay? So it's, it's gonna give the illusion that um, there was like a cutout piece that I didn't chalk in, okay? Well, at least I hope that's what it's gonna do. So it makes it look a little bit Faded, like you can still kind of see in the back, but it gives the illusion that I chalked around that circle, okay? That's what I'm going for here. It's exactly what I want it to look like. So I just chalked it the white so it looks like that was underneath. All right, let me dry that off and then we're gonna put a word in there. which words fit in here because I know gather is way too large and I actually think hello is too large too but I think home and love will both fit in there um, you know the other thing that would be cute you know what let me go grab I've got an idea hold on I'll be right back I can still talk to you because I've got my earphones in yes, should still be able to hear me Okay, now I'm back. So 
I think one of these minis might fit. I don't know, maybe not. These might be too big. But I thought, let's pull those out because these are summery and they're cute, super cute. But do any of these fit that like the dive into sunshine? Actually, that might look so, so cute. Right, right on there. Okay, so maybe I'll do this one. But I wanted to show you. You could put the word home right in there, okay? So the word home would fit nicely. Again, I think hello is just, hello is a little bit too big, but actually that still would look really cute because it's only a little bit overlapping on the edge of that, that circle there. Um, and then I believe, yeah, I think the love fits perfectly into that circle, yeah. This love that's like that fits right into that circle. So, yeah, super cute. Hi, Pam. Good morning, good morning. Okay, but I think that dive into sunshine, I think that'll fit real nicely right there. And actually, if I'm doing dive into sunshine, maybe I should just do some yellow instead of my raspberry sorbet, which I love. But let's try this. Let's see how this looks. Um, I read something yesterday that said, there are no mistakes in crafting, just uh, unique discoveries or unique designs or something like that. And I thought, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's no mistakes. Okay. So I'm just kind of looking to see how far up and how far down that needs to be. I think that can go down just a teeny tiny bit. Okay, perfect. All right. So we're doing dive into sunshine. And I'm gonna do this in yellow because I think, I think yellow, yellow and teal, first of all, look really pretty together, but yellow with that saying is just gonna be super cute. So it says dive into sunshine. Let me just show you guys. That's what the transfer looks like. It's so cute. Good morning, Natasha. Good morning, Lacey. Good morning, you guys. So glad y'all are joining me this morning. Okay, so just my yellow chalk paste. Dive into sunshine. Oh my gosh, how cute. I've never used this transfer yet. I bought all those little summer minis and I have all kinds of ideas how to use them. Oh, that's cute. Okay, it's really light. Um, once you tilt it up, you can see it really well. Dive into sunshine. How cute is that? That looks so cute. I mean, like that really, really looks cute. Okay, so Hopefully, 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 if you had not seen how to use these gift tags and how to use the patterns and that little circle that you can use, hopefully that gave you some ideas. And again, you know, I did the circle in white so that it looked like I chalked around a circle, that the circle was like somehow there. Um, but you could do that circle in any, any color you want. And then of course, like any of these, these little words that come with the gift tag transfer, you can put in the middle or look through your little, if you have some minis, look through your little minis and see what fits. That sunshine one, it looks like it was made to go in that circle. I mean, it's absolutely perfect. It fits perfectly. So these are super cute. Um, again, that would have been really cute to add this tag that says dive into sunshine with the s'mores um, gifts that I made yesterday, but I, did, I, I didn't do this one. But look how stinking cute that is. Oh. I think it's so cute. I'm so happy with how that turned out. Um, so that's super cute, especially, you know what that would be really cute for? Probably gonna use this exact tag um, for a teacher's gift. Like that would be so cute. Dive into sunshine and give it, you know, put that on your teacher's gift that you're gonna have to mail because you can't see your teachers. <laughs> I digress. <laughs> so anyway, just a fun little idea for these gift tags. 
They are so easy, they are so cute. You can use them all year round. So again, I, you know, I put a little summer mini transfer on, but these that say love or hello or home or gather with these, there's like this little argyle, there's a stripe. And then at Christmas time, there was a, a gift card transfer. So if you grabbed that at Christmas time, that one says to and from, and I love that one. I think that one might be coming back when they bring back the Christmas stuff. And I love it because it says to and from, and you can use that for birthdays, you can use that for anything. And just take a little marker and write in who it's to and who it's from. Um, it's super, super cute. Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Amy. Good morning, everybody. I'm so glad you guys are joining me this morning. So we did our little gift tag. It turned out so cute. It says dive into sunshine. Perfect for a little summer gift. Maybe, you know, maybe a little bag with some towels or something uh, for a neighbor or for a friend or for a teacher gift <laughs> at the end of the year. They're certainly going to dive into sunshine. <laughs> so thank you guys again for joining. I will pop back in tomorrow. If anybody has any questions, definitely leave them in the comments below because I will check those. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, awesome day. I'll see you tomorrow.